Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on solving trigonometric equations. Here is the exam question. Solve the following trigonometric equation. Cosec to the power 4 theta minus cot to the power 4 theta equal 2 over 3 plus square root 3 cot theta. Where theta is more than or equal to 0 but less than 2 pi. Round your answer to 3 significant figure where appropriate. Please pause the video, have a go at this exam question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to start by rewriting the left-hand side of this trigonometric equation. So the left-hand side can be rewritten as bracket to the power 2 minus bracket to the power 2. So inside the first bracket, we can put cosec squared theta. Inside the second bracket, we can put cot squared theta. Okay, so this has to equal 2 over 3 plus square root 3 cot theta. Notice that we have a difference of two squares. So a squared minus b squared difference of two squares factorizes into a minus b, a plus b. Using that result, we're going to factorize this one over here. So we've got first bracket, which will consist of cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta. Second bracket, that would be cosec squared theta plus cot squared theta equal 2 over 3 plus square root 3 cot theta. Okay, now I need to simplify the first bracket. Ladies and gents, I know that 1 plus cot squared theta is equal cosec squared theta. That is one of the most important identities that we know of. So using this identity, we can replace the cosec squared theta with 1 plus cot squared theta. So in here, the cosec squared theta, you can replace it with 1 plus cot squared theta. So I've got 1 plus cot squared theta minus cot squared theta. That's my first bracket. Second bracket, I've got cosec squared theta plus cot squared theta. This must equal 2 over 3 plus square root 3 cot theta. Now if we have a look at the first bracket, the cot squared theta minus cot squared theta cancel out, so we've got one lots of this bracket, which is this bracket itself. So cosec squared theta plus cot squared theta is equal to 2 over 3 plus square root 3 cot theta. Right, now I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. I've got cot squared theta plus cosec squared theta. Uh, minus square root 3 cot theta minus 2 over 3 equal 0. So I've got a cot squared and I've got a cot and a constant. I need to replace cosec squared theta with 1 plus cot squared theta so that my entire trigonometric equation has one trig ratio. Okay, so now we can replace the cosec squared theta with 1 plus cot squared theta. So cot squared theta plus replace this with 1 plus cot squared theta minus square root 3 cot theta minus 2 over 3 equal 0. Okay, so we're going to simplify this equation. I've got cot squared theta plus cot squared theta, which is 2 cot squared theta. So 2 cot squared theta minus square root 3 cot theta. And then 1 minus 2 over 3 is plus 1 over 3 equal 0. So I've got a quadratic trigonometric equation. I can solve this using the quadratic formula. So cot theta is given by minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Using the quadratic formula, I get two solutions for cot theta. So my first solution for cot theta is equal to square root 3 over 3. My second solution is equal to square root 3 over 6. Now we know that tan theta is 1 over cot theta. So the value for tan theta will be 1 over square root 3 over 3. That will just be square root 3. And uh, the value for tan theta will be 1 over square root 3 over 6, that will just be 2 square root 3. So I've got two trigonometric equations to solve. 
Let's start off with the first equation. So theta equal tan inverse of square root 3. That will be our principal solution. So tan inverse of square root 3 will just be pi over 3. Now to obtain the other solution from 0 to 2 pi, I need to draw a cos diagram. So here is my cos diagram. Cosine is positive in this quadrant, the rest is negative. All is positive in this quadrant. Sine is positive in this quadrant, the rest is negative. And tan is positive in this quadrant, the rest is negative. So we've got 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Right, so we've got tan, theta equals square root 3, which is a positive number. Now tan is positive in the all quadrant and the tan quadrant. These two acute angles are pi over 3 each. So my first solution is this angle here, which is pi over 3. And my second solution is this angle here, which is pi plus pi over 3. This gives me 4 pi over 3. Okay, so these are the only two solutions of this equation from 0 to 2 pi. Let's move on to this equation here. So theta is equal tan inverse of 2 square root 3. So if I put this into my calculator, I get 1.29 to three significant figures. Now, to obtain the other solution, I'm going to draw a cost diagram. So cosine positive here, the rest negative. All positive here. Sine positive over here, the rest negative. Tan positive here, the rest negative. So zero, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and 2 pi. Right, we've got tan theta, which is a positive number. Tan is positive in the all quadrant and the tan quadrant. Each of these acute angles are 1.29. So the first solution is 1.29. Second solution is this one over here, which is pi plus 1.29. If I put this into my calculator and I round off to three significant figures, I get 4.43. Therefore, the complete solution to this trigonometric equation is pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 1.29 and 4.43. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions from 0 to 2 pi. And that there completes this teaching video on pure mathematics exam questions solving trigonometric equations. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.